So this is what we had before. And now I'm going to refresh the page and look what I was able to create. And you can see I have a video here and this is now a custom product page. So this is what we can do with the new modules and it looks like it's working seamlessly and this is actually fantastic. If you want to master Divi 5, I have the perfect course for you. It's called Divi 5 Mastery. As you can see, it has over 663 students and this course will give you the edge when it comes to Divi 5. Remember, Divi 4 and Divi 5 are totally different. Divi 5 has a brand new interface. This course is only going for $27. Usually the price is $47, but if you get it now, you get the 50% discount and you can start learning right now. The good thing about this course is if you purchase it, when I add new modules as DV5 adds new, new features, you are also going to get the updates. So go ahead. The link to that is in the video description below. When you install WooCommerce on a DV5 website, this is the product page you get, but this is not very exciting. So recently, Divi announced that they have brand new WooCommerce modules introduced. So these WooCommerce modules should be able to uh, help us build the custom pages that we need to make our online store unique. I want to see how easy it is to apply this and create a totally new customizable page, which looks way better than what we have right now. So let's head over now and customize this page from scratch and see how easy it is. So in order for us to uh, customize our product page, we need to head over to the theme builder over here. Next, we're going to click on new template, build new template. So we're going to look for all the uh, template pages for the products. And sure enough, here it is. I'm now going to click on all products and then create template. Next, I need to now to click on add custom body and build custom body. So the first thing I want to do is to have my own custom header. So I'm going to go in, click on this plus button and add a single column. And I'm also going to add a group. Now in this group, I'm going to see if our modules exist. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start by typing woo and right away I can see we have woo breadcrumbs, we've got woo notice. So these are the modules that were recently added and the legacy ones are the old ones, okay? So let's test and see if some of these work. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to add a product title. So let's look for our woo product title, which is right here. Next. I am going to add another one. So I'm going to go into, let's add a module below. So this time, I mean, in fact, I'm going to keep on typing woo because that just drills it down to make it easier for me to find my products. So I'm going to go with woo price. Okay, there we go. So now that I have these two items, since we created this group, I can now go into my group settings, click on design, and I'm going to go to my layout. Now, over here on the layout, what I did was I clicked here to make sure that I have my flex selected and then I changed the direction. So now you can see everything is in a straight line. And then all I need to do is to align the items and then I'm going to make sure they are spaced between just like that. All right. So that's going to be uh, the first stage of my design. Next, I am going to go into my row settings, come over here to design, and then I'm going to go to spacing. Now here, what I want to do is to add a margin of 200 pixels. And you'll see in a moment why it's important for me to do that. And that is because I need to come over here to my section settings and add my background image. So I'm going to come over now to background and then click on my background image. And then I'm going to go with insert dynamic content. So if I choose featured image, then this should work. So let's see if that works. I'm going to add my featured image. All right. So, so far, so good. Now, this is going to be very bright when I um, preview it. So what I'm going to do is to add a background color here and I'm going to make sure it is black. Okay. So now that I've set this to black, I need now to come over here to my image and we are going to go to image blend. So right now it's set to normal. Let's go to uh, multiply. 
So you notice now that everything goes black. And for me to fix that now, I just have to come back over here and add a bit of transparency, just so that I can see a little bit of my, my design here. I'm gonna go with 75. Okay, so now, in fact, let's go down a bit. Let's go 70. So now I wanna make sure that my product name is easier to read. We need contrast here. So I'm gonna go in, change my background color here. And oops, I chose the wrong item. I uh, added my background. So we want the text color. So I'm gonna come over here to design, text title, and let's choose our color here. Okay, so while we're here, I'm just gonna make this bold as well. There we go. Now, of course, I'm not using a uh, Sidecraft uh, framework, but that would be much, much easier for me. But this is just for WooCommerce purposes. It's just a demo for this first. So now let me go ahead and save. Next, I need to start adding the contents of uh, my product. So I'm gonna click here on these two columns. Again, I'm gonna search for my Woo images. There we go. I'm gonna select that. Okay, great, that has been added. Now I'm gonna come in here and let's start with Woo title. How about that? So we're gonna go with Woo product title. I know I'm repeating it, but I just wanna showcase that uh, I can add quite a lot of things in here and customize my design. So we're gonna say Woo, and this time we're gonna go with Woo product description. Great. And then I'm gonna add another module, and this time it's gonna be the price. The price. So let's search for Woo. And let's uh, let's see. Okay, there's our product price, which is brilliant. Now let's add our uh, add to cart, and I can actually search for add to cart, and this should come up. There we go. Okay, so I can continue on and uh, design this the way I want. So it is quite straightforward how to do this. But you know what? Let me not speak too fast because I haven't tested this to see if this is actually working on the front end. All right. Okay, next I'm gonna go in and add another row. And this time I'm going to add my tabs. So let's search for tabs, woo tabs, excellent. All right, so I have my woo tabs here. Uh, what else can I add on the bottom there? In fact, you know what? You know what could be really fun is if we could go in, perhaps add a video to this. So I'm gonna go to add module below and this time we're gonna add a video like that. So we can see here the video is below my my tabs. We can leave it as, I mean, like this, but you know what? I wanna style that overlay to make it look really nice. So I'm gonna go in, add an image, and this is the product that I'm creating this for. So I'm gonna say upload image. And now we have our play button here, but the button doesn't look great. So let's go in and custom size. Now, it is much better, okay? That's great. So this is going to be our video for our product. So what I can do now is I can go to my row settings. Let's go to our column, design, layout, and I'm gonna set them side by side, just like that. How cool is that, all right? And what I may also do to stylize this, I'm gonna go in, let's add a bit of padding. I'm gonna come over here to design. Let's go to spacing. Right, so let's go with two rem. There we go, and then I'm gonna also do the bottom as well. Now, for this to really stand out, it needs a background color. So I'm gonna go into my content here, go to background, and I'm gonna add a really dark gray. Okay, let's see, maybe I can use a light gray. Yeah, because I noticed that it messes up this. But anyway, you know what? Let's do a quick preview. I think it's time to do a preview and see what this looks like so far. So I'm gonna exit here and then save. So this is what we had before. And now I'm going to refresh the page and look what I was able to create. And you can see I have a video here and this is now a custom product page. So this is what we can do with the new modules and it looks like it's working seamlessly and this is actually fantastic. I really love uh, how easy it is to, to do this. So in a nutshell, I think um, this is working great and I'm really happy because if you wanna create a, a, a WooCommerce uh, website, it is much easier for you to go in and create these custom pages. Now, 
There are also other areas we can go in and customize, but of course, uh, this for me was uh, the bigger test because I can see all the, the WooCommerce modules and I can also see that we, we have all these other pages. We have the cart page, the shop page, so we can really customize our shop page and use the loops. We can use all sorts of things now to make our shop look unique and not just the standard that you get out of the box. So this is very, very powerful and I love this. So if you are someone who wants to build an online uh, store, uh, this is the chance to uh, start with uh, Divi5 and WooCommerce. But let me remind you that this is still in beta. So this needs to be on a sort of like a brand new website and not an upgrade from Divi4 because they're still ironing out some bugs. But I would say go ahead, try it out and, you know, see how it works for you. If you haven't joined Divi uh, University yet, head over to Divi University. This is a community for uh, Divi users.